What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now look at this. Today, we definitely found it, man. We have some celebrating to do for CRO. We're going to go through this entire market. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Click the like button. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter right here. M-A-S-O-N-V-E-R-S-L-U-I-S. -S. Watch out for the scammers because there are some impersonators. But follow me on Twitter and let's go into this video right now. Okay, 59,000. I think I said yesterday that this would be key to keep these levels and we didn't. We, like we literally went down to 58,000 again. Bitcoin is having such a hard time stabilizing in this 60 to 70k range like it's absolutely crazy look at this so let's go to normal candles and let's turn off market cipher a we can see like just in this period like look at all of the wicks to 59,000. it's everywhere right even when we're up here <clears throat> we're up here this candle that's bringing us up there started there boom 59,000, 59,000. Over here, wick again to 59,000. These are daily candles, by the way. Another wick to 59,000. Down into the 50... Like, look at this. We just can't seem to not... Like, just never go back to 59K. We've also we've returned again. But I do think that this is healthy. Now, we're... Keep in mind, dude. I, I hate talking about it, but we're like two days away from the full moon. And we're coming down for a local bottom. We're at 59,000. Like, come on. This stuff is so easy, right? Look at this. New moon. We're up here at 63K. Right a couple days after this new moon, pump all the way to all-time high. 69,000, right? And then we're headed down because it's after the... Like, it's just so simple. Like, boom, boom. Now, now this, this moon is going to be printed here. Okay, I hate to use the moon cycles, but it's really just like on time every time. I've shown it. it. It's on time every time. But obviously there are real, like real, the moon cycles are real. Like that brings the tide in stuff. It actually does things. But there are actual like uh, different reasons that this is happening from a technical analysis standpoint. But I don't think there is anything to be worried about, right? We've got these people comforting us right here. If you think that Bitcoin, if you think the Bitcoin cycle topped because of a 15% drop without a single proven indicator near its critical zone, you're going to have a real tough time with 30 to 40%. Now, let's talk about one of these critical indicators, the bull market support band. As we can see, we're not even close. We're not even close. Over here in September, we were getting close. Right, but we did not break below this. We had a one wick below this. Actually, let me get off this and see if it's yeah. Uh, oh, we did break below that, but we recovered, and we went s straight back up. So that's so with Bitcoin, right? It's leading the entire market, but a couple things are straying away. What was the thing that was straying away? Yeah, CRO was straying away. Um, also, Opulus, which we're going to talk about, and some of these are some of these are headed back up now. Right, we look at the bubbles. Wow, Gala is doing amazing right here. CRO, we're gonna talk about the crypto.com news because I have some stuff to say. Uh, the biggest news coming out in crypto as of the past 24 hours. So that's that's my analysis of Bitcoin. I don't think there's anything to worry about, to be honest. I think we're gonna be headed back up in due time, dude, and it is gonna get crazy. It's gonna get even more crazy. See, you're gonna have a real tough time with 30 to 40%. People complaining in my DMs about XRP not going up. They've held for seven months. Buddy, I've held for, f I've held for four years. Uh, Plan B is clarifying that his no 98K in November prediction is not based on the stock-to-flow model, but on his floor model. So it's based on a different model. So it's almost like he lost faith in the stock-to-flow and basically just said uh, that, or, or basically made a new floor model or something to apply it to this cycle. Look at this XRP chart. Okay, this is from Cryptos. 
look at this XRP chart. Boom. One day we have this very nice daily bull pennant right here. We can see that and it's converging. I like this line through that. I don't know what that is, but I like that through there because it really shows what's about to happen. We're about to converge on this point and just boom, blast off, right? We just tested the bottom of this. We just tested the bottom of the daily bull pennant. So, dude, just wait on XRP, man. It's going to happen. It's going to at least have a run back to all-time high. And if, you, if you're done with XRP and you're just, like, tired of its bullshit because there's a lot of it, you know, lawsuits. We got to deal with people hating on us, calling us fools, you know. If you're done with it, get out at all-time high if you wanted to. I, I'm not going to be doing that, but I'm going to be selling some at $5 probably and some at $10 probably. And I say probably because probably. <laughs> Benjamin Cohen also says Bitcoin could always dip further. But what happened to the guys waiting for 25K in July when we bottomed at 29K? They were waiting for 37K in September when we bottomed at 39K. Like... To assume you know the local bottom is likely giving yourself too much credit, no one can predict that. Absolutely. Facts. So, take a look at this gem that I found yesterday. Opulus, right? Opulus. This is bringing DeFi to the music industry. This is not paid, not sponsored or anything. I just thought this was a dope gem to compete with Audius. I think blockchain plus music is going to be crazy. Also, if you know Chance the Rapper, they have Chance the Rapper's brother, who's also like an independent artist on their advisory board they're partnered with algorand and r3 r3 right here big 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 stuff and we've seen this price oh my goodness we've seen this four hour price look at this these these longer term charts look crazy on it right i told my tiktok audience about this one um so this this is probably a little bit overextended right since it dropped it's basically let's see since it dropped if we measure this we got like a thousand two hundred percent or something, but dude, who knows? Like this could go, this could go, this could go anywhere, right? So I'm not telling you to get in because this is pretty crazy, right? Twenty two percent in a day, fifteen percent in a day, twelve percent. Like we've had a big couple three days. I saw this from KSI on Twitter, by the way. So moving on from that, that's just a small cap gem. If you would like, we need to talk some heavy stuff about XRP. John Deaton says more proof that the SEC case versus Ripple is dangerous to all crypto. Look at what this says. The SEC also alleges that the defendants do not sell XRP for use or as currency. And reasonable XRP holders have viewed XRP solely as an investment. I cannot deny that. Like that's just fact. Some of these people are looking at that as solely an investment, right? But also others aren't. And it's not just solely an investment. It's not. Uh, we have... They, they're accusing the XRP holders uh, reselling XRP to others, right? XRP holders invested in the common enterprise of increasing XRP. So this basically applies to every crypto. Every crypto. People are investing in these, all of these, not using them as currencies. They're looking at these as like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest and it's going to go up, right? Like, this whole thing is so crazy. I see it because I'm not brainwashed. I don't have to lie to myself. I see the problem with this industry and it's massive and it's going to result in something. I don't know what something. I can speculate, but that's all I can do. Now, look at this clip of Jay Clayton lying right here. This is, we caught him off. This and guy caught him off guard. Something that your critics uh, seem to believe, uh, which is that uh, in your final days at the head of the SEC, uh, the SEC brought a case against Ripple. Uh, now you're advising some other companies uh, in this space, and uh, they point out or suggest that this is a conflict. Look at him. Uh, and let me say that. We, we brought a number of cases during my tenure at the SEC in the um, ICO space, um, offerings and securities. That in the ICO space? Like, dude, Ripple didn't even hold an ICO for XRP. We're not following our, our rules around registration for wide distribution to the public. I'm not going to comment specifically on the case you mentioned, 
but in terms of my after government uh, service in the space, what I can say is that the, the companies that I advise, um, uh, you know, I don't want to be, be promoting them, but uh, one is an institutional asset manager, another is a, is a uh, uh, what I would call an infrastructure practice. Look at how freezy he is, man. So he's just straight up lying about his intentions, okay? We caught him. Now, look at this. Ripple's top lawyer says the SEC has declared war on crypto. I put this in here because this is war on crypto. And XRP is the only one doing anything, okay? We have Hedera. We covered this yesterday. It's ServiceNow, the ServiceNow company. Look at this. On Fortune.com, they are the number... They are the number one, okay? The number one on the Forbes and BCG list of companies with the best long-term growth potential. They are number one. That That's coming over things like Spotify, Square, Shopify, Tesla even, Twitter. ServiceNow is number one. And Hedera Hashgraph just got them on their governing council. We have Flare launching they just said this again. Flare will be launched after the core protocols that will make up the Flare network are tested in the wild on Songbird. Flare will be distributed by the network when it launches. What? What? Like, this is like weird to me. They want you to focus on everything but XRP, in my opinion. Like, everything. Look at this. It's been 84 years. This feels like an Ethereum 2.0 type of deal. We'll be here forever waiting for Flare. I can't wait. Now, we have a new report coming out that says institutional investors are choosing Cardano and Ethereum over Bitcoin. Okay, the newly reported prices of Solana, Polkadot, and XRP inflows have been recorded at 9.8 million, 5.2 million, and 3.1 million. They're always investing less in XRP. It's very weird. They don't like uh, going hard on XRP, but they did go 9.8 million into Solana, right? Of course, the institutional uh, investors are choosing uh, these higher risk, in quotations, over Bitcoin. Binance lost 3% of its users, folks, when they put, oblig or they put mandatory uh, KYC for all global users for every feature look at that they lost three percent of their users oh my good that means three percent of their users don't want to get kyc holy cow okay the biggest news coming out of crypto right now is this the crypto.com arena they have renamed the staples arena that's so legendary right like, I have my favorite rappers have some of their lyrics saying that, like, ra flexing about how they sold out Staples Arena. That That is now outdated, dude. The, they have to say, I sold out the Crypto.com Arena. Oh, my goodness. Crypto.com is such a weird name. <laughs> like, they really took that domain, which is worth millions. Their domain alone is worth millions. Like, Crypto.com domain is, like, worth 50 million. Uh, this was for seven hundred million over the span of twenty years. So tw for twenty years, this is going to be called the Crypto.com Arena. Man, like it is, it is insane. Now, KuCoin Labs has also launched a hundred million dollar metaverse fund to empower early stage metaverse projects. They're going headlong into this. They're going big into this hundred million dollar fund committed to support and incubate early stage projects in the metaverse that's how you know we are on the right track here oh that just reminded me of lady gaga song i'm on the right track baby i was born this way yeah we were all born this way nerds nerds getting into crypto we were all born this way and we can see the price effect of of this crypto.com news look at that this is when it broke 48 look at that now I also wanted to show this guy just to end it off and and know that our manifestations are coming true. This was seven months ago. Look what I'm saying. People are saying that CRO will reach 70 cents. Do you believe this? Yes, I definitely believe this. I am still holding my CRO. I bought a huge bag on top of the CRO that I had to stake for my crypto visa. Keep in mind that crypto.org chain launches in one day.
See, it, CRO was at 17 cents. I was so hyped that this crypto.org chain was launching. It didn't do anything to the price. I wouldn't even be afraid to say that crypto.com coin is my favorite out of all the exchange coins. It still is my favorite out of all the exchange coins. That's what I call actual conviction and holding long, okay? That is all we've got for the daily market update. Make sure that you follow on Twitter and Instagram. Join the Telegram group. Like the video, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And goodbye. Crawl.